Do you rebound? Do you even know what that is? I'm going to share with you why this particular health technique is one of the best ways for you to move your lymphatics. It's a DIY lymph drainer and lymph valve opener that you can do at home. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite exercises on my rebounder. Stay tuned for this informative video. Welcome friends, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher and today's a casual day here at Natural Health Resources in our studio because I'm going to share with you rebounding. I'm gonna get on my rebounder. I wanna showcase for you some rebounding exercises to get you started on your rebounding, lymph moving, lymph motivating journey. I have had hundreds of questions from you guys about rebounding and I'm really excited to take this camera right on over to our studio. Welcome to my rebounder. This is actually Gabriel's rebounder and so it's a little bit uh, structured differently than some of the adult versions but this has a handle on the front. Usually they're handles on the side but I wanna share with you some rebounding exercises. So many of you have asked me questions it's almost every day about rebounding, about how to do it, and techniques to move the lymphatics. So I wanna share with you what I do to move my body. I also want to incorporate in this video some altered versions of rebounding for folks that might not be able to get actually physically on a rebounder in this state standing, but we can get the lymph motivated by bouncing. So the first thing that you do is you literally are just bouncing up and down. And so if you can see my feet are not I'm not jumping, I'm just moving. This force of moving up and down and the weightlessness that comes with rebounding on a trampoline, this actually is moving your lymph flow. But what it's doing is it's forcing the valves throughout the whole entire body to open. I will have shortness of breath as I do this because it's moving the lymphatics. And so you can kind of feel things moving. So this is phase one. When you get on your rebounder, you just want to start slowly bouncing. If anything, your heels are picking up in the back, but you can literally just gently move up and down. That's step number one, moving up and down. Step number two is moving your arms up. So it's kind of like jumping jacks. So you move your arms up and down. Okay, so what that's doing is it's moving the axillary nodes, opening those up, helping move fluid in the arms. And then the station of this is you're literally doing like the walking man. Okay, so you can go fast. <laughs> okay, it helps if you swing your arms. Okay, so friends, the next step, I wanna start bouncing. So you can, you can bounce a little bit or really a lot. Doesn't matter, you're still getting a flow. It is not uncommon for folks as we're doing this to feel like their bladder's filling because we're moving the lymph and that's how it exits your body. So we're bouncing up and down and up and down. And then you can do more arm exercises. You wanna cross your arms in front of your body and that will get the lymph flowing in your arms. And you know what else rebounding does? It moves cellulite. So rebounding is one of the best ways to get toxicity out of your body through lymphatics. And 10 minutes on your rebounder is equivalent of a 50 minute run. It's not uncommon for you to also feel muscles burning. One of the things you will experience when you are rebounding is you are going to get your heart rate up. If you have any type of heart issues or heart conditions, this is something you wanna slowly ease into. Usually I recommend rebounding for 10 to 15 minutes, but as you can hear, I've just done this routine. I'm winded. You might wanna start with three minutes, then move to five, and then a week later move to seven, and then to 10, and then ultimately 12 to 15. But for anybody, rebounding is going to greatly impact your lymph flow. For individuals who might not be able to get on a rebounder and be stable on your feet, an altered version is to sit with your butt on your rebounder and bounce. And that literally will move the lymphatics just like 
you would if you were standing on your rebounder and bouncing up and down. Now you can incorporate hand, your hands up and down. So I like to do more vigorous because we wanna make sure we're getting the bouncing going. But you can go up like this, you can cross, but you're still bouncing. Similarly, folks that might have balance balls, you can actually incorporate, incorporate a balance ball into your work day. Now they've got chairs where you stick a balance ball. If you bounce on it, you can get the same effect. And you can do the running man, arms in front. Rebounding is gonna force the flow. If you can invigorate your bounce while you're seated, even better. It just gets the force moving. And what you're gonna notice, like where I'm feeling this right now, is I'm feeling my watersheds. <clears throat> I'm getting lymphatic drainage in my upper head. I'm getting lymphatic drainage in my head as I'm moving because my watersheds are opening. So it's a valve opener. And this literally is all you have to do. You can watch TV and rebound. If you want more videos like this, I'm going to encourage you to message me below. I can share with you some of my rebounding exercises that I do that's more cardiovascular in nature. But what I wanted to do today was share with you rebounding that will help move your lymphatics. Thanks everybody, I hope this video was helpful. If you want more like this, please message me in the comments below. I'll include links to some of my favorite rebounders that I recommend. These are great for individuals of all ages and I hope you'll check them out. They are affiliate links and they do support my channel, but this is really going to be so beneficial for you. I wanna hear all about your journey when they arrive. I hope you'll favorite this video because we can do our exercising together. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.